Hello and welcome to another Get Crafty video. I'm Serena, an adult services librarian at Carver County Library. And today I'm going to show you how to make two different types of snowflake wreaths. For the first one, you're going to need a grapevine wreath, some spray paint. I used white and glitter. I used silver. And then some snowflake ornaments that are small enough to fit around the wreath to decorate it. You also need a hot glue gun and then some ribbon for hanging. So for this one, I already spray painted my wreath. I took it outside in a box and spray painted it white. And then while it was still wet, I sprinkled on the silver glitter so it stuck to the wet paint. Now I'm just gonna take some of my snowflake um, these are ornaments and then I have some extra little sparkly ones and just kind of arrange those around the wreath and hot glue those on. Now you want to make sure that you leave room for your ribbon for hanging. And because this wreath surface, wreath surface is kind of um, it's not uniform, so you're going to want to kind of get your hot glue into those nooks and crannies so that it sticks really well. So I'm using white on white and then some extra little these sparkle ones. We'll add some more color, but you could do the wreath a different color if you wanted. I originally had one that was gray, like a winter gray, but it was just a little dark. So I like this white one better. Okay, so I got my snowflakes on. Now I'm just gonna cut some ribbon. This is just a white organza. And I'm actually gonna hot glue that and fold it over. give that a second to dry. And there's the wreath. Very easy to do, especially if you have um, snowflakes that you're looking to use for a project. That's definitely where I came up with these wreaths as I had all these snowflakes and I was looking for something to use them for. So this is the second wreath and this uses a um, hoop wreath form, um, some greenery, floral wire, and you'll need some fishing line to hang the snowflakes, some more of your snowflakes, and then a uh, ribbon for hanging. So for this one, I'm taking, um, this wreath form came in a pack of three. So this was the middle size. This is gonna be the largest size. So we'll see how this greenery fits on here. So you just kind of bend it around how you like it. And then use the wire to wrap it around and attach it.
So I have the top part down. You can see that it's just sticking out from the top there. So I'm just gonna keep wrapping this. Kind of go around the leaves so that those still fan out. At the end, I'm just going to cut this with my scissor. It's very thin floral wire, so it can easily be cut with a scissor or you can use a wire cutter. So then there's one on there. I'm going to take another piece. And since the stem is so long and I don't really need that, I'm going to cut that off. So this I'm just going to layer over the top and then again wrap that around and it's going to kind of leave a little spot in the middle that will be a good spot for my ribbon to use for hanging. Okay, so now the greenery is all wrapped around the top. The next step is to cut some fishing line. I'm gonna use three snowflakes, so I'll need three pieces of fishing line in varying lengths. So you can kind of measure from where you're gonna hang it and see what length you want it. The snowflakes that I'm using have a little hole at the top, so I can just thread in my fishing line and tie that off. Then I'm going to find a good spot at the top here and tie that on so that it hangs into the middle. So that's what it looks like with one, but I'm gonna do two more so that there's three. Probably do a bigger one in the middle and then a smaller one on the side. And then to finish it off, I'm using this ribbon for hanging and I'm just going to hot glue the end of that to make a loop and I happen to have these buffalo plaid ribbons that match or bows that match my ribbon so I'm just going to take one of those and add that So when that's all done, it'll look something like this one. I'm 
with your snowflakes hanging in the middle. All right, and that is all you need to do to make two cute wreaths that'll last you all through winter with your snowflake decor. Thank you to the Waconia Friends of the Library for providing the supplies for this craft, and I'll see you next time.